Hi, welcome back to Realm Tale. In the last episode, we worked on this very building that I'm standing on, the Sugarcane Farm. And I even did some other cool stuff in that episode, like uh, recreating Hermit's intro. So if you guys haven't seen that video, check it out. It's doing pretty well on the channel. But we mostly made this building here. And this has been working to gather all tons of sugarcane here. Actually, so much so that it's like filling up this entire row, which is good because I built a huge storage system here. So I want to make sure that's being used. Uh, another thing that I said I would do in between episodes is terraform this area, which I did. I actually did this on a live stream, which I, I rarely do, but it was a lot of fun over on the second channel. I'll probably leave a link to that in the description. You can check it out, uh, kind of see the method that went into the madness of terraforming here. Another thing I did in between episodes, which is more of a tedious task, but it has to be done, I just put my grass layer on this one. I've yet to do it here, but you have no idea how much grass it is. I wonder if I can check my statistics, because uh, I bet it's a lot times mined. Grass block is up there. Second to terracotta, which I need for the grass and the roads and everything. So that makes sense, terracotta is up there. But a grass block, not even to mention times used, pickaxe, all that stuff makes sense. Grass block has been placed 39,000 times. That's It's crazy how much grass I actually have to place for areas like this. This is like two or three shulkers worth of grass, so it's definitely a lot needed to place that area. And then another thing I did in between episodes is up in here. We had this side for the longest time uh, as my storage system, but over here... I finally added this area, and I actually am so happy with the way this turned out. I think everyone should go comment how well this is, even though, if you don't agree. But, uh, I used a whole ton of custom heads. So, like, this Rubik's Cube, for example, on the table is actually just my second account's head, but I just placed it on the table to make it look cool. I got, like, a clock, a PS5, a Nintendo Switch. I have another Nintendo Switch here, but this is, like, the horizontal one. I wanted to put that there, but it didn't really work, so then I moved it here and then got a vertical one, although I don't really know if it works here, two Nintendo Switches, but, you know... I needed something there, so there we go. I have some, like, really cool custom mob heads that I just found online. So, you know, it's like a diamond panda, a red knight, an emerald skull, a golden lion, and then an amethyst axolotl, which actually looks really cool. I even moved my dogs up here. I have an earth and a galaxy up here. Uh, the Rickroll lyrics make its return from last year. I did this exact same thing last year, so it just does the whole lyrics to Never Gonna Give You Up, at least the first, first part of it. Uh, and then... I have more books over here. Moved all my cats onto a bed. More bookshelves over here. A couple carpets with hidden lighting underneath it. Probably, yep, there we go. There's an example. Moved up some of my dog's pancake waffles and French toast. This dog's unnamed, but he's chilling there. And then I have Timber, who is my dog in real life, also on a couch in front of the TV with some speakers. Any heads you see here are most likely custom uh, that I added in here. So I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It is. It looks really cool, to be honest. Uh, and I know I've been working on a whole lot of base building the last episode so you know we've worked over here for like three episodes in a row worked over there for a ton of episodes in a row however today i'm just gonna have a little bit more fun i'm gonna try and collect some random stuff to decorate inside i showed off in the last episode i got tall grass which is extremely rare i want to make a kind of area to display some of my rare items like the tall grass for example and maybe some other blocks that we can work on collecting so, the first thing I plan to collect is actually over at the starter base. I actually haven't been here for a while, and as you can see, I cleared out the farm here recently, and uh, for the most part, the area is still the same on the inside. So, the one thing I'm needing to grab is in the friendship barrel, which is some of the stuff I've got given to me uh, from the very beginning. So, it's like new housewarming gifts, random gifts that people have given me, uh, stuff that we... This, I drank, for example, after we beat the Ender Dragon with Coden. This, though, is what I'm here for, because this is the first dragon egg dragon egg spawn multiple times in this world due to the fact we have a more dragons data pack on if we go here uh and go around uh makes the ender dragon drop and dragon egg and an elytra on death so that just allows us to get extra dragon eggs so someone can't just hog the only single one uh which i do have the first single one so this is the true dragon egg so i'm gonna keep that for my collection the other ones i'm just gonna kind of keep in here because this is like the secret santa thing uh and other other monotonous items so that is the one thing i'm grabbing from here and I have another idea for a pretty cool uh, special item. So I'm here at the spawn island. This is actually the island that we spawned in at first. Then we turned it all green. So I even think, yeah, there's a couple <laughs> graves here. Uh, way over there is the shopping district. But we're not here for that. We're here to travel in this direction. And there's a reason for that. But I'll explain in a little bit. And we're here. So uh, this is the spot that needs to be mined out. And uh, the reason for it is I'll highlight it on the right there. We're at 00. 
or 0, 064, 0. So if we go down here, I want to wait until that is pointing at block 0, because that is the 0, 0, 0, 0. Wait, that's too many zeros. 0, 0, 0 block. And that is like the core centerpiece. So I'm trying to get that exact block uh, here. So I'm going to see if I can get down to it. Oh, we're not going to actually destroy it, though. So that is the one block. This is the 0, 0 block, the one that I'm about to mine. Now I'm going to destroy any evidence of any of the other blocks because we don't want to mix those up with the true pure block here so following what's on the right here we're about to mine the zero 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 block that it is right there so i have to make sure we don't touch any more deep slate keep that one separate because that is there's only one of those deep slate blocks that was placed at zero 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 by world generation and i have it so that is another rare block that i can kind of check off there now i am back at the base here and the whole thing that kind of inspired this project was this right here i was looking inside my armor area and i noticed that i actually had a full set of chainmail armor fully mended as well this is probably all due to the zombie uh, spawner farming that we did at the beginning of the season look at that full set of a uh, chainmail armor which uh, i think will be pretty cool to display with the stuff because chainmail is pretty difficult to get the only way to get it is kind of killing mobs and hoping you get the drop so pretty cool armor there we'll add that to the collection and the other thing which i don't have looking in here this is all my ores and special blocks i have the regular emerald ore but i don't have deep slate emerald ore which is apparently one of the rare blocks so i plan to get that so uh yeah we'll we'll go out and try and find that well i just flew to a windswept hills which is apparently where this stuff can spawn and i found normal emeralds but uh not what we need so we're, we're going down here oh my god you don't know how long i've been mining for that that is crazy oh gosh okay well let's let's tunnel out of here flying finally back into the base here i did a little bit work mending up some of my elytras here because they were actually pretty low due to uh everything i've been doing with the base work and everything uh and we're set here with everything for the moment now i'm sure you think what else could i get that's rare i have a genius idea of what i can get and let me just see if i have there we go shears yes i'm going to try and find a pink sheep a naturally spawning pink sheep if we find one i'm going to shear it for its pink wool and possibly kill it to try and get its head using the data packs on the server uh no guarantees for the head drop but we do get the wool so i don't know gonna look so now the trick is i gotta not get juked out by the pigs i have no idea how long it's gonna take and cut there. wait a sec oh my gosh i was gonna stop the recording but here we go pink sheep Hello, bud. All right. Uh, there we go. Pink wool. And please, please drop your head. Oh, we dropped cooked mutton. Maybe we saved the cooked mutton. All right. Well, I mean, I could continue to try and find another pink sheep and possibly get its head. I don't know if you're allowed to shear it. So, uh, I don't know if I want to find another pink sheep. That was amazing how lucky I got. My base is like right over here, by the way. I don't know if it will load in, but it's like, it's like a couple hundred blocks that way. Like, look, there it is. And look where it was. It was right there. It's not even that far. That was crazy how lucky we got. I don't really want to find another. Oh, it was a pink. I thought it was another pink sheep. Uh, so, yeah, that is that is crazy that we found that. So, continue onwards here. Y'all are not going to believe it. I found another one. Give me your head. Oh, he dropped it. Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I got extra cooked mutton, but I, I don't really need that. There we go. The head. We got it. We got a pink sheep head. I actually can't believe that. Now, we have gotten the pink sh sheep head and pink wool from a naturally generating pink sheep. The only thing rare is a Jeb sheep's head. Now, a Jeb sheep, I actually have to waste name tags, naming it Jeb underscore, to get that. So that is kind of crazy. Uh, I do have a good supply of sheep, so it's not like it's going to be difficult to get the sheep. It's just, I don't know if I have many name tags. I got four. Yeah, it could be, could be difficult to try and get. And for the second time in today's episode, I'm heading back to the starter base because this is where I have all the villagers that will trade me name tags. I actually have yet to get librarians at the at the mega base, but we're going to use these guys over here. And we'll probably even use the sheep that are behind them to try and do this. There we go. Nice and rainbowy due to the texture pack on the server. Uh, let's just name a couple of these guys and do a sweeping attack on some of them. Uh, here we go. Do we get any? We got, we got no heads. Oh, there's one. Yes. The Jeb underscore sheep. Oh, yes. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is uh, nice and rainbowy. There we go. Seven name tags to spare. Didn't need all of them, but I wasn't expecting to get all of them. So there we go. Nice and uh, secured there. 
Okay, so there we go. Rainbow sheep had now been added. Now, I have a really good idea for this next one. You're just gonna have to stick with it for me for a second because we're going back to the starter base again. <laughs> so I'm back here and we're getting some of the books out here because I'm going to try and use the wood to make myself a wooden sword but with all the best enchantments, this is my best sword that I can possibly get at the moment. I think this has every enchantment you can get on a sword. I want to do the same thing, but for a wooden sword. Because I feel like if I'm trying to collect all these rare items, that is a rare item that no one will have. A wooden sword with max enchants. Who does that? Got the books I need for the sword. So I'm flying back in towards the end portal now. Because I'm going to use the ender ender to try and get some more levels. And to enchant everything on the sword. So I'm here at the Ender Ender with the brand new wooden sword. Look at this thing. It's actually really, really good if we take my no normal netherite sword. It's got all the same enchants, different order. Obviously, I couldn't get the same. I kind of wanted the same order, but that, that will do. It's it's whatever. I am debating whether to name this or not. I kind of like having it named like the best sword or like the most useless sword, something like that, or like overachiever sword. I don't know, something funny like that. But at the same time, I really like this, the plain normal name of just wooden sword, like just having it not even italicized. Like you see how that's italicized. All the other stuff is italicized. That isn't. And I just kind of love that. It's very simple. And it kind of also adds to the point of like, why do you have a wooden sword? It's very basic. So I'm going to probably uh, just stick with that, I guess. Uh, yeah, so that is the wooden sword basically finished. Uh, the Ender Ender working fantastically as ever. I have to clean up my work though, uh, because we don't need all these pearls here. That is just going to lag the game. So we're gonna get rid of all of this and head back to the base. So rounding off the collection now is obviously the sword and then an enchanted golden apple. Yeah, I was able to get one of these, so that's pretty cool to add. Now, that is the full box here. I'm gonna make a little display area for these items in this section over here. Probably in the corner where that doggo is, I'm gonna have to move him and just set up a small corner. These will eventually all get moved into a very cool building I have planned, but as of right now, I don't have the building built yet because most likely that building will go into this section. I'm gonna save that section for something else and this section will be where I build the building. Possibly. I'm not 100% sure, but I don't want to build it yet until I have all that situated. So I'm going to, I guess, just make an area for this. So I've moved Calvin, which is his new name, up over there, and I built this area. I think it turned out decent. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a huge fan of the way everything turned out. Like this, this head's really rare. It's got the whole rainbow pattern on the side, yet it's kind of facing forward. You can't really see it. I mean, I could conversely turn it like, like this, but then like it doesn't you can't really tell it's a sheep i don't want to put it diagonal because this one kind of i like being straight out so it's like what do i do with this and i i don't really know to be honest what to do with the head so i'm just kind of leaving it on the box and then the box itself just has these simple items uh which is the tall grass the first dragon egg the zero 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 block uh the wooden sword and then the enchanted golden apple on the box i was thinking about doing stuff with invisible item frames you know displaying some of the items but i'm not entirely sure yet if this will be how it stands i'm not even a huge fan of the way the armor looks but i, I think it does kind of pull this room together it has something finally in all the corners kind of everything is kind of being used for a purpose uh so overall i'm not 100 percent satisfied but you know it works for now so i'm gonna i'm gonna move on and we can work on some more projects okay i know i said i was done collecting rare items however i have a really good idea for another rare item however i can't exactly get it on this server i can but it's going to take a while, so I'm just going to take it from Realm Tale Season 1. We built this time machine up here, and we're just going to go in here and uh, turn the clock. And if you feel it coming already, I feel the shakiness. Clock's done rotation. Get us back to Season 1. Whoa. Okay, I, I think that worked. Did? Oh. My. It worked. We are he we're here. Realm Tale Season 1. Look at this world. This is really odd to be back, to be honest. And did it work? Ah, I have most of my stuff here. That is crazy. Wow. Okay. Well, we're back. And I'm here for one thing and one thing only. Uh, and that is up here in the mega base. I really just need to get to an ender chest. But uh, I guess we might as well fly up here. Ender chest. Do I have... Yeah, look at all my stuff. This is literally everything I had. Man, I had a lot of good stuff in this world. Okay. Valuables. There it is. Charles the Blue Axolotl. That's the only thing we're after. Hey, we could also take some of these IOUs with me. Should I do that? Just so I have them now in my, my Season 2 world? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take them. Might as well put everything back just to restore the pureness of the world. All right, that is everything we need. So let's head back to the time machine. And hopefully we'll be able to go back. I've yet to test it on the way back. Uh, let's try it. Come on. Okay, I, I, feel, I feel something happening. There we go. It's going. Oh, no. 
That is crazy. Okay. Wow. That... Did it work again? Wait, it. where the... How did I get up here? Are you kidding me? Did it... I've now... Oh, are you serious? I'm... Oh, that's... That's annoying. Kind of. Are you... So I'm just now stuck... Okay, well, the time machine is now lodged in the side of the building. Uh, but on the bright side, it appears I have all of the goodies that I traveled to Season 1 to get. I'll have to fix that. That's kind of annoying. But hey, look at that. Blue axolotl secured. Okay, now with the blue axolotl acquired here, I'm just going to put them in here along with the other IOUs, I guess. We can just kind of don them around. Uh, now I feel like this needs a better order. Maybe maybe move the first dragon egg up here and then all around like this. I feel like it's a better order. Have the IOUs at the bottom. Uh, that is pretty cool uh, that the time machine worked to get back to Season 1. If I ever need more relics from Season 1, I can always use it. Uh, I might not move it yet because it is... Although it is lodged in the side of the building, I, I could use it for, for a couple things in the future. So I might I might leave it there, to be honest. Alright guys, I know this episode wasn't as much action pass. Like, the only area we really got done was this area. But I actually did get a lot of stuff, obviously, in here as well. With all of these items, they were different pretty difficult to get. I mean, I put a lot of effort into getting these, so it's going to be a short episode for today, but I hope you all enjoyed it. So if you did, leave a like on the video, and if you really liked it, make sure to subscribe. It helps me out a ton. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more. Out.